And just like that, while doing the rounds confirming that he is playing Victor Von Doom, many people probably did not pick up on the fact that Robert Downey Jr. revealed that all the rumors in regards to Kang are in fact a lie and were made up by scoopers. Because, as he revealed, he agreed to play Victor Von Doom about a year before he was announced to be playing the character at D23. Meaning that all the rumors that they're trying to recast a new Kang and that they were still moving forward with him in Avengers 5 are automatically debunked. So there's been a lot in the last couple days and one of the biggest pieces of info that we got was directly from Robert Downey Jr who of course confirmed he is playing Victor Von Doom. I talked about that. I still don't entirely believe it's the Doctor Doom, but hey, we're going to have to wait till Doomsday or Secret Wars to find that out. Whatever the case is, the uh, detail that we're going to talk about is him confirming that it was mid last year. So after the release of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, but also prior to everything going very public, with Jonathan Majors that they got in talks with Robert Downey Jr. in regards to returning and that they pitched him the character of Doctor Doom. So if we look at the timeline of events, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania hit, it was a colossal failure. We then heard that Marvel Studios was looking to pivot and this came from actual outlets like Deadline and Variety saying that Kang isn't working. And as it turns out, the whole Jonathan Major situation might have been, in a weird way, a blessing in disguise for Marvel. Because when it all hit, and then the court stuff hit, and then ultimately, he of course was found guilty and fired earlier this year. We know that, according to reports, they already had a contingency plan. Now, insiders and scoopers, who are not the big trades, were saying, Kang is being recast. They're sticking with Kang. There's not going to be a pivot to Doctor Doom. But if you look at what Robert Downey Jr. just said, it was last July that they first started discussing this, and that's when he was pitched to Doctor Doom, and he said, yeah, okay, I'll do this. And then he met with Bob Iger, and they made it official. So, if he agreed to join last July, let's say it's even as far as December or January, it's before Jonathan Majors was found guilty. So, there is no way absolutely no way that they weren't already pivoting to Dr. Doom. And Robert Downey Jr. just coming out here and confirming this is just showing us how you cannot trust these people that are out there hiding their scoops behind tweets or OnlyFans or whatever they sell them on, right? Like, it, it just doesn't work. Because a lot of times they're just guessing and selling a false narrative that people build expectations on. And, uh, him just confirming this shows us that there's a whole lot of lying out there. And honestly, that Marvel Studios was operating in this way for quite a long time. I mean, literally a year before the announcement was made, they entered talks. And how funny is it that's also when they were entering talks with the Russo brothers. So this was a long, long in development process that they were working on. 